when you spend 10 months with baba and his company you can imagine how overflowing and full you come back so here i am uh, flowing with his grace with his love flowing with the uh, I, i just feel like baba is like a river and i am that very uh, smooth beautiful pathway through which he has chosen to flow so he seamlessly just flows in and flows in and flows in the messages are flowing in the grace is flowing in so the 10 months of wait i think were, it was absolutely absolutely worth every moment i won't take long and i will straight away move on to baba's message for today and uh, i don't know i've gone through the message a couple of times in my head uh, before starting uh, to speak to all of you it is such a such a such a beautiful message as usual i don't know how every time baba does not fail to surprise me baba does not fail to come up with something new when i think you know now i've explored everything in the satcharita i've explored every message and teaching of baba and then when i sit with him he comes with something so 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 beautiful and then you start thinking oh my god why did i never reach here as usual so today's message actually started uh, i was traveling some days back and i was uh, on a getaway uh, uh, about a 15 20 day uh, i was inside a forest no phones no contact with the outside world just with baba and me and uh, nature uh, very very beautiful when i was there um, i picked up the pothi i've actually kept the pothi right here in case i want to refer to it in between as you all know pothi is baba's uh the original satcharitra we all read the abridged version the small one but i was reading the pothi and i started reading a particular part of the pothi which just resonated so much i understood it for the first time so much you know my realization with baba is that we read the same thing over and over and every time it changes every time the depth changes every time the meaning changes i think as our life experiences you know we go through our life experiences as we go deeper inside and connect with baba so also what we are reading about baba starts changing you know our understanding of it starts changing we read the same thing again and again and this time it means so much different than it meant before so here i am the message started with the pothi and then of course where and all we reached baba and me i'll take you through all of it um this refers to the chapter with baba talks about the importance of human birth and when i was reading the chapter we all know how precious human life is we read that in the satcharita so many times we know baba says that again and again you're very blessed to get it but when i went deeper and started reading you know the pothi refers to it as an unexpected event if you're given a human body unexpected happening an unexpected event i went through that portion over and over and over again to understand what is it what is it trying to tell me what is the satcharitra talking to me about and you know i went deeper with baba and meditation and my understanding was that when we are in the soul form in the spirit form in the other side of the world in the other side of where we are today and a soul is given the opportunity to take the human form it is called an unexpected happening which means you don't get this human body with ease the pothi says that a lot of people say i will do this in my next birth it laughs at us baba laughs at us through the pothi and says listen child how did you think you will even get one more birth again a human birth it is not easy to get even gods sages there are so many who have strived hard they've done thousands of years of tapas to be able to get a human birth and they have not got it imagine what must we have done to be able to be sitting here today in this human body it's not easy to get it the satcharitra says it is just not easy to get it and if you have it now please hear this carefully this is the part which i loved the most if first of all you were chosen to get this human body and then second you were chosen to be born in your guru sai baba's feet now well that is nothing less than magic or miracle spectacular i would say because just getting a human body is first of all so difficult and we have attained the human body and we have attained the feet of a guru like abu baba 
what must we have done i don't want to cry today i'm as usual overwhelmed on the eve of guru purnima i've been trying to keep my tears off i'm so overwhelmed with baba all goose flesh but i have to tell you this how much gratitude comes into my heart how much gratitude comes into my heart that baba what have i done that you my baba chose me as yours in this life first of all you gave me this flesh this body these bones to live with which baba says in the sacharita in the pothi as well that it is full of mucus phlegm filth this body even your excreta is inside before it comes out the sweat everything that you can think of which is not nice is inside the body yet only this body can take you to your guru only this body can help you merge into god only this body can help you get salvation so when we were created and when we were given this body it was given for a reason it was not just given to us we were chosen to get this life we were chosen to get guru baba as ours and belong to him and then baba says the child have you forgotten why you came here he says when he created this very beautiful world this very beautiful cosmos why did he create us after creating the cosmos because there was nobody who was appreciating his marvel his miracles his leelas he created this magnificent universe and then the plants the animals the trees the mountains they could not appreciate us it at all so then he created us and gave us wisdom gave us knowledge that that knowledge with which that wisdom with which we can appreciate our god he thought we will come here and understand this world is all maya and baba is the lord the king and we have to earn our way back to him but we forgot he was not expecting this to happen he was expecting i'm creating a very knowledgeable being who will go there take my name and come back and merge into me but we forgot this is a reminder from baba don't forget this life is very precious you may not get it again you will not get a human birth again you're so blessed you have it make the best of it and then he goes on to explaining how to make the best of it and that is the uh, exciting or happy part of today's message very beautiful part of today's message i have promised that i will keep looking at my phone thank you for all those live messages coming keep them coming i love all of you thank you thank you yes you can keep typing i have a phone here and seeing all your messages as well so let's go on yes now we come back to the message two words that baba gave me he's very fond of giving me two words you know that don't you so many times i get two two words from baba and then i have to expand on those two words the two words baba gave me were the choice two words were the choice and i was like choice baba and then he explained that you have this human life which is priceless you have me who is here to hold your hand and walk you through this journey for the reason and the purpose that you were created but sometimes child you start forgetting that you have the option of making the correct choices and start making all the wrong choices in life so let's go deeper into this word choices what is baba wanting to tell us i'll just digress a little bit and go back into the uh, bhagavad gita and into uh, what we've learned from our scriptures and remind you about there are several types of karma that we talk about but three primary types of karma that we have spoken about the three types of karma sanchit karma prarabdha and agami the three types that we talk about or kriya man as we call the third one sanchit is that what i have already done and because of what i have done in the past i'm living a particular life in the present that i have done sanchit karma accumulated karma prarabdh is my present destiny what i'm living because of the karmas i have done but what is yet to come kriya man or agami is in my hands it is totally in my hands and it depends on that same word choices 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 okay i'm going to keep changing this because i'm in a very happy mood today so please help me enjoy this talk i don't know why many of your cameras are off on zoom please switch them switch them on give me some smiles give me some energy yeah what is all this with cameras off thank you here everybody suddenly switches on see i can't see the ones who are messaging me on facebook 
but I can at least see all of you. Yes, Facebook Live, please message. I'm watching you as well. Okay, thank you. So now choices, this word choices. Now, after we have spoken about the scriptures, let me talk about science. Science says that a human being has roughly 50 to 60,000 thoughts in a day. And then science conducted a research to see how many times we have to make decisions or choices in a single day for a normal person. There is a very renowned scientist, uh, Daniel, um, I don't remember his full name, who, did this, who carried out this research. He said for an average human being, in one day we make 35,000 choices. You heard me right, 35,000 choices. And let us go, let us not go with his research and just go to something very simple. I have, um, you heard me right, 35,000 out and of let, those 60, go, let us not go with it. 60,000 thoughts is what we have in a day. Out of that, let us just say 0.1%. Just 0.1%, we have to make choices. That's all. Still, how many is that? Do you realize how many choices we make every minute, every day? Our life is completely dependent on the choice that we're making at this present moment. What Recording you in progress. Now, will decide how your future is going to be. All right. So we know that we should, okay, let's go to the Satcharitra also now. Now that we're talking of choices, let's talk about Satcharitra. Baba is always there to help us with those choices. The blessing, I started by saying we get a human body, we get a human birth and we get Baba that we belong to. What is the advantage of having the body and having Baba as a guru? He's always alive inside us. Side consciousness, as we call him, we are always side conscious. Baba says in the Satcharita, barring your name and form, there exists in you and in every being, a sense of being or existence, know that to be me, which means that being or existence or alive that I am palpitating, that I am the life force energy that keeps me alive is my Baba. He's constantly guiding me to make those choices. When Tatya Kote said that I'm going out of the village to Gopargaon, what did Baba say to him? Don't go. Rest. Relax. And if you must go, take Shama with you. He didn't listen to Baba. What happened? The horse fell down. He had an accident. He got hurt. Baba is always speaking to us from inside and telling us to make the best choices. But are we listening? Are we listening? And how do we listen to our Baba? So simple. So many of you ask me, Didi, how do you talk to Baba? It is so simple. You just need one thing, one word I'll give you to talk to Baba. Silence. He's there in silence. He's not there in noise and chatter. If you think I can be surrounded by noise, chatter, my mind is outward, my senses are outgoing and I'll talk to Baba, it's not happened. But you sit back in silence, close your eyes and ask him, Baba, what should I do? I'm confused. That voice that you hear, which we call the gut feel, the intuition, that's Baba speaking to you from inside and telling you what to do. Listen to him. He's talking to you. We are not making the best choices and then we are complaining about the life we have. We're not even listening to our Baba. That day, Tatya Kote didn't listen to Baba. And at the time, Miracle was going to Chetali when Baba told him that uh, 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 Lamba Baba, that snake thing that you, you know about the Lamba Baba, he's very dangerous, he can die, but what can he do to the children of Dwarkamai? And then when he was leaving, Baba said, take Shama with you again. He said, no, 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 I don't want to take him. Then again, after leaving, he had another thought, Baba is asking me to take Shama. Choice. He made a choice to take Shama. See, Tatya did not listen. He didn't take Shama. He got hurt. Miracle, the junior miracle, Balasar miracle, hurt Baba. He said, okay, Shama, come with me. Shama spotted the snake sitting on his Uparni. Shama got the big stick and helped people beat it to death and saved his life. Baba saved his life. He gave him a warning in time. The difference is, back then, Baba was sitting in Shirdi alive and talking to everybody. Now he's sitting inside us alive and talking to us. Nothing has changed. 
nothing much much has changed really he's still our voice of consciousness he's still that voice inside us talking to us but we're still making bad choices and talking about these bad choices why i think baba gave me this topic today is because of so many of you who write to me so many messages that i receive let's talk about them today didi i'm in a very bad marriage abusive marriage i'm suffering why doesn't baba listen beta who asked you to suffer you have the option to make a choice see when we are suffering even suffering is a choice you can be in a very bad situation and still not be suffering that i have learned with my baba i've gone through very 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 difficult times i think my life plan is to go through the experiences before i come and talk to you he takes me through so many difficult times and every time i go into those difficult moments i just keep reminding myself the choice to suffer or not suffer is in my hands it is not destiny that can make me suffer it is only me that can make me suffer if i choose to be in a lot of darkness and still be the light the darkness cannot affect me it's my choice if i choose to be in a very very difficult situation and still keep strong i can be strong you know during my last trip i met this boy 25 year old he has this problem of double vision suddenly for the last 6 7 years and he was 16 or 17 he suddenly started seeing everything double and he's been on steroids for the last 7 years very sad he was when i spoke to him and he said to me i'm depressed i'm sad when i look at people around me they are happy they're living their lives they have careers they can travel they can do everything what am i doing with this double vision i'm only taking medicine sitting at home not doing anything much and you know what i said to him i said child at least you have eyes what about those who cannot see what about those who don't know what colors are there in the world what glory is there in baba's world choice you can choose to think like a loser life is putting all the troubles on me i am suffering i am in pain i can do nothing or you can choose to be strong you can choose to think differently be in awareness and oneness with baba and think differently and say that baba as long as you're there as long as your love is there i will be strong despite everything so what if i see double at least i see it's just about changing your perception and the way you look at life everything changes trust me everything changes everything changes problem is we have stopped trusting our baba and stopped trusting ourselves some people tell me that it's destined how can it change it's written in my patri the astrologer told me so you know i had a teacher um uh, i was studying the mind and she was a genius very very deep into all of this and she was in a very bad marriage two daughters and really really going through hell every single day and she was sharing with us that there came a time in life when she didn't know how to move forward it was so bad so she consulted uh, an astrologer she consulted somebody who does this nadi shastra or something she was telling us and both of them told her divorce is not written in this life for you you'll have to live with the man that's your destiny she chose to change that destiny she said i was so clear that my choice is bliss i knew life would be tougher with my daughters i would have to work hard fend for them it would be so much tougher than having a man to earn having a house on my head but my choice was a peaceful blissful life she gave a divorce she is so much happier today she does not have the kind of money she may have had with a man but she is so much more peaceful healthy happy today now somebody will ask didi this question comes again to me very often it was written in her destiny you know in her in her you know astrological chart that she is not going to have a divorce in this life then how did she get a divorce in this life and it was written she should not have a divorce this is where our three karmas come in i just told you that sanchit is accumulated you are living 
today based on that your prarabdha your destiny today is based on that so your birth chart or your astrological chart or janam patri whatever it is called is based on what is based on your sanchit karma i guess i have not studied astrology but i'm guessing that whatever i have done and i'm born with is what my chart shows but now is my opportunity to change my choices if i change the choice this chart refers to that life which i would have had if i had not made these different choices but today i have changed the choices when i change the choices the birth chart becomes redundant so people who say it is written that i have sade satti and at 7 and 1/2 years is only suffering well i don't believe this you can choose to be happy and love the god who is supposed to bring you suffering instead of fearing him life is all about making the best and most beautiful choices suffering in a job not having a great boss and every day of your life cribbing and complaining and saying meri to kismat hi kharab hai ye kaisa boss mil gaya mere ko मेरी तो किस्मत ही खराब है मैं कैसी शादी में फंस गया किस्मत खराब नहीं है चॉइस खराब है इट्स नॉट डेस्टिनी व्हिच इज डूइंग दिस टू यू इट इज नॉट बाबा हु इज डूइंग दिस टू यू इट इज योर चॉइस दैट इज डूइंग दिस टू यू इफ यू चूज टू चेंज दैट एवरीथिंग विल चेंज इट इज सेड दैट आई एम डाइग्रेसिंग अगेन बट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज सेड दैट व्हेन वी आर डाइंग before we die some people a few hours before some people a few days or a few weeks before they start getting this um, what is it called like a, a review of their life when they they know that now death is close you know you get this some feeling from inside that the time is coming close mostly you can review your entire life have you heard old people tell you that uh, call that person i want to say sorry to him heard that right yes thank you for nodding why do they suddenly say this because they are reviewing their life and thinking what if i had made different choices i just want to talk to all of you today about what i think when i sit with baba when i am um going to go from this world last moments and when i look back and review my life i don't want to think oh god if only i had made a better choice my life would have been so much better how much blessing it was that baba gave me this human birth how much grace it was that i was blessed with this human body that i have with which i could work my way to my baba which with which i could work my way to my salvation and what choices did i make bad ones and here i am lying and and some people will even get that even before not they don't have to wait to reach the death bed when we don't look after ourselves when we don't make the best choices we abuse our body we're in hospital bed suffering and then thinking i could have changed this do you know 2.8 million people die of obesity every year obesity 2.8 million i don't even know if that is an all uh, uh, you know it's a number for the whole world or just for us i've read a research which i can't recall very clearly but let's assume 2.8 million is the people who die because of obesity but how many work and make a choice to change it i'll stop eating wrong food i'll stop eating bad food i'll stop giving burgers to my children when is my question when you have to make the small choices and the big choices and that was baba's message today he wants me to remind you that in a day if you're making some 25 30 35 000 choices like research says or forget that even if you're making 1000 or 2000 choices every choice matters every choice will decide how your life is going to be are you going to live happy are you going to live healthy or are you going to live in suffering so please make the best choices because it is not just about health it is not just about uh, um the boss this choice will also decide whether i am happy or sad whether i am fulfilled or unfulfilled and here comes back the satcharitra again the poti so kind baba is he says don't worry when i gave you this human body and i chose you as mine i also found a way through which you can work your way out to reach me 
and the simplest possible way he has given us you know it i don't have to tell you this how many times have i said this in my talks how many times have you heard me say this it is so simple we are not in the treta yuga or the dwapar yuga where you have to do dhyan sadhana meditation nothing he asks of us just take his name sai ram sai ram sai ram that is enough to take us over this this journey of our lives to our baba so simple remembering his name talking about him listening about him like you're doing now see the senses that we have have to be in in the worship of our guru my eyes should be seeing my baba my ears should be listening to stories of my baba when i speak my mouth my throat chakra it should just bring out words of love and adoration for my baba when i smell the fragrance should be my baba when i taste the nectar in my mouth should be my baba that is the way to love baba and when you love him like that then you don't have to worry about how the future is going to be back to the satcharita after baba passed away remember once kaka sahab dikshit and shama and they were all sitting together and reading the um, i think dhyaneshwari or something yeah one of those and and then uh, they read about the nathas the bhakti of the nathas see how baba sends right messages at the right time how i remember this now and what happened uh, kaka sahab became so despondent and sad he said we will never get the bhakti of the nathas how will we ever get salvation this life is wasted and shama came and said to him no we have had a guru like baba has not our baba told us that just remembering his feet is more than enough and what happened next day somebody turns up and says oh i have had a dream of baba and he comes and shares what that baba's feet were in water and shama asked him to raise the feet up he touched them and he got blessed baba reaffirmed that yes touching and holding my feet is more than enough and then he told him gift a dhotar to my shama van dhoti van silk dhoti he is again affirming shama when kaka sahab was saying we have no hope you said my baba is there we have hope so baba even after going is sending van silk dhoti for shama amazing is that not amazing so we have to remember this message of baba over and over that we are blessed to get this human body we are blessed to be walking this path we are blessed that we have a guru like sai baba of shirdi whom we celebrate tomorrow on guru purnima and we are blessed that he has given us the simplest way to attain him the most easy simple way to attain him all we need to do is make the right choices you know when uh, lord rama when he was asked to go on vanvas when kk ma said that send him on vanvas uh, dashrath king dashrath told him that you have to go on his father told him go on vanvas but after that the father cried and cried and broke and he said see i have given the promise you can refuse if you want now lord rama is faced with a choice should i keep up the respect and word of my father and go or should i stay back he chose the tougher path what happened we got ramayana we wouldn't have had the entire ramayana if we had not chosen to go how much have we learned from the ramayana every day of our lives how much we have understood that there is always the victory of good over evil all that happened happened because he made a choice you see these choices are so important and i must tell you if you don't have the strength and the courage to take risks or difficult choices life is going to be just mundane mediocre and gone it's okay to take risks unless you plunge in the water how will you learn to swim you have to take that plunge so that you can grapple with the water and then learn to swim knowing baba is around you make those kind of choices and i have another very good news that baba shared that he wanted me to share with all of you the good news here is the very good news here is that it is never too late and this is something i say from personal experience sometimes i would ask baba that baba aadhi zindagi to aise hi nikal gayi half of life is gone you know i could have done so much more that i didn't 
इतनी गलतियां करी वी वॉल मेड सो मेनी मिस्टेक्स इज देर एनी होप फॉर अस इवन नाउ is it too late to make the changes now and then he reminded me of another story of rishi valmiki from being a decoy do you remember the story yes he was a decoy a robber he would murder people and steal their belongings rob their belongings till one day rishi narad came there and told him for who are you doing all this he says i do this for my family Mrs go ask your family when your karmas are accumulated will they share it and they said no 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 we are not going to share all your bad karma you have to fend for the family how you do it is your problem and then he realized what am i doing so then he went to rishi narad and said show me a way what have i done is it too late and he said no no just say ram ram everything will change see in the kali yuga just taking ram naam is enough he said just say ram ram and what happened after he left he was not even rishi valmiki i think his name was uh, uh, decoyed ratnakar or something if i remember correctly if my memory serves me right his name was ratnakar so ratnakar is there now rishi narad has left and he forgets that ram naam he says what did he say now his work every day is what murder kill he says it was something like mara mara because the whole day wo to mar raha hai he is killing people he started saying mara 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 he became valmiki we have hope if you are a sinner a big sinner a murderer there is still hope imagine i get goose flesh when i say that how kind is my baba how kind is my baba whatever i may do i may sin i may i may have done wrong but he still gives me the choice to change i just have to make that choice in this moment to change and everything changes rishi valmiki became rishi valmiki because he chose to make a change if you think that it is too late it is not if you think it is too late to aspire to live your dreams to work your way to baba it is not late it is never late when he is there i think it is never late it is just about the choices you make you know the same journey is starting point is here the destination is there but we have so many roads to reach there we have so many means of transport to reach there you could take a flight you could take a, a roadway bus you could drive you could take a train now what happens you go on the train and then you keep saying oh god it's taking so long horrible life this is horrible so much mud so much dirt why am i on a train will you choose it no nobody asked you to take the train it was your choice and why crib that's what we do in life we make our choices but we crib before him and say baba aap ye kyun kar rahe ho mere sath why are you doing this to me baba says are i am not doing bachcha you are choosing it if you choose differently everything can change that destination will stay there but the road will change how quickly you want to reach it what a long route you are taking again the satcharita there will be wolves on the way there will be tigers on the way but when the guru is walking with us he will make sure we go straight to the destination that is his love and his kindness with a god like him with a guru like him i think we can only be in gratitude we can only be in grace and i think you should just remember this word today that baba has given on this guru purnima choices awareness it will all change if you are aware every day if you start thinking i have to make a choice what am i making it will start changing your life completely make the best choices because where i am today despite everything is because of the choices i made i don't know if my papa is watching this uh, uh, live uh, that is going on i hope papa is watching but he on my most difficult days even when i was a little girl and as i grew up there's one statement he says very often to me he says whatever happens around you let there be spring in your mind it is such a beautiful lesson i've learned from him there may be autumn around which means there may be fall everything may be going bad but in my mind there is spring there is joy there is happiness if inside me there is joy and happiness outside everything will be beautiful i know people who are in their 70s and 80s and have no blood pressure have no diabetes have no ailments whatsoever they're so healthy and fit when i look back at them carefully and analyze what do i realize 
there was always spring in their mind unfortunately in our mind we bring autumn and fall very quickly we bring the darkness in very quickly depression sadness anxiety stress angst all the wrong emotions anger hatred greed jealousy it keeps popping up but those who are in a happy space they have no ailment they have no diseases they have no problems i think we should all make a choice to live healthier first of all because this body that baba refers to over and over in the pothi when i read and reread i understand this is my vahan this is my only means of attaining him if this gets damaged kids you're not going to go anywhere let's look after this body and i say this from a place i am i am saying this on a live program but i say that i have taken the jolt on myself i was so immersed in my path in all of you you know that i have lived my life only for all of you i forgotten that i exist i abused my body i forgot i had to take care of myself i was so involved in my baba's path till i understood oh my god this is precious if i have to walk my baba's path i have to first take care of this body only then i can reach him i cannot be lying on a bed dependent on people and attain my baba i cannot reach that so make the right choices now before it gets too late fascinating words we hear you know in in uh, hypnotherapy and and today people talk about parallel realities heard that word before parallel reality this one second please what are parallel realities in the cosmos see time is not linear everything is happening at the same time they say okay which means if i had made one choice this will be the consequence or outcome if i make another choice this will be the outcome if i make a third choice this will be the outcome with every choice i make the outcome changes i didn't look after myself i had a bad health and a bad life choice made i reasonably looked after myself i had an average mediocre life i looked after my mind body and my spirit i ate correctly in moderation like baba says in the satcharita which is important for my body i did exercise which is important for my body i did meditation which is exercise for my mind i took baba's name which is important for my soul and then i lived a very fulfilling beautiful life three realities that can happen they are called parallel realities they all exist in the cosmos at this point in time it is up to you which one you will pick up there may be 100 more realities that are existing parallel realities it is up to you which one you put your hand on and pick up as yours and live your life by that and that decides the course of your destiny so let nobody tell you ye to likha hua hai badal nahi sakta destiny versus choices it is again your choice yes if you don't make the choices then you will live by that destiny then you will live by that uh, janam patri then only that will happen in your life which was written there you will not be able to change it at all but if you make the right choices you can rewrite this entire life this future and make it worthwhile i'm sure we all want to merge into our baba when we go to the other side i'm sure when we look back from there at this life we want to feel that we it was worth taking this birth we are given this human body to work out our karma to learn our lessons to go through our experiences walk this path fulfilled and merge into baba if you're not doing this we are wasting a beautiful life that he gave us let's not do that let's make the very best of this life and like i said before the most beautiful and easy way is to love your guru baba best way you don't have to take his name as a mundane taking of name are baba ka naam lena hai because didi ne kaha tha naam lene se everything will change nahi 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 aise naam nahi lena naam aise lena hai that every cell in your body joyfully in ecstasy dances to the tune of your baba now i am thinking of kabir okay kabir what was the the doha pothi par par jag moa pandit bhayo na koi dhai aakhar prem ka pade so pandit hoye pothi par par jag moa the whole world is reading scriptures heavily into all of that discourses scriptures i am studying the scripture and getting better 
वो थी पर पर जग हुआ नथिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन पंडित भयो ना कोई यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू बिकम अ पंडित थाई आखिर प्रेम का द टू एंड ए हाफ अल्फाबेट्स ऑफ लव पढ़े जो पंडित होए इफ यू वांट टू बिकम अ पंडित जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड लव एंड ही डज नॉट टॉक अबाउट ह्यूमन लव ही टॉक्स अबाउट लव फॉर योर गॉड योर गुरु व्हिच इज द स्पेशल ब्यूटीफुल फॉर्म ऑफ लव व्हिच हैज नो हार्ट ब्रेक्स which has no suffering which has no pain which has no attachment which is just pure 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 unadulterated love baba's love to dhai aakar prem ka padho if you want to attain your baba learn those two and a half alphabets of love okay can i get a bigger smile than that thank you and for those on facebook can i get some nicer happy messages that you're all there and enjoying this and learning your choice to make your choices okay great i'm so happy this is lovely so i will take your questions after this but before i do that uh i have requests on my uh, various social media platforms that today's talk i have to end it with a very special uh uh doha uh, uh, which i had shared years ago with all of you I think it keeps coming back, and everybody says, "Didi, re share it." So before I go to the Doha, I'm recapping what we've learned today. The Pothi says, "This life is precious. You are blessed. You have this physical body. Even sages, saints, gods, devi, devtas, they take millions of years of tapasya, and still they don't get the body. You have been given it. It's an event that has happened. God blessed you and said, 'Oh my God, you know, I think in up there in heaven, when somebody gets a human birth, they must be saying, 'Oh my God, really? Wow, you're getting a body. What a celebration!' And then we come here and think, 'ठीक है, big deal. सबके पास है, मेरे पास भी है. What's the big deal about it? अरे, it is a very big deal, Baba. You got this body. Very, very big deal. Make the best of it. Look after this chariot, this carriage that Baba has given you, because He lives inside this. he lives as a soul right here if i'm not looking after the chamber which surrounds him he will be in a very suffocating dark place live healthy live happy and again baba says the purity is not to be done by bathing that is not the purity that wear fresh clothes and have a shower that is not the purity the purity has to be here the purity has to be in your thoughts the purity has to be in your words and the purity has to be in your deeds You know why COVID happened to this world? Ever thought about it? What did it affect? Throat chakra. Sab karva bol rahe hain, jhoot bol rahe hain. Collectively, we are talking, hurting each other with bad words, lying, not saying the Ram Nam or the Sai Ram the way we should. Our throat chakra gets affected, and then we say, "Why did the world suffer from COVID?" This is the chakra. This is the space. so that is why in thoughts words deeds just have purity and purity is baba purity is his love have him there and everything will be gorgeous and beautiful okay yes make the best choices live a happy life and let's not be lying on the last day and have ghosts surrounding us ghosts which say you didn't make a good choice here you didn't make a good one here you could have changed your life you could have completed this task you could have gone more fulfilled and then regret and say oh my god what did i do and surrounding surrounded by these horrible ghosts of what i didn't do i don't want to do that my god it's a horrible feeling horrific feeling i want to be lying there and thinking of my baba that yes i lived a beautiful fulfilled life and now i'm on my way to him with this like i say like we are all that vessel you know we're all baba's vessel of love when we go to the other side this vessel can either go empty or go full if you think your car will fill it up or your big mansion like house will will fill it up or the bank balance will fill it up unfortunately it won't the pothi says these temporary temporal happinesses and joys are like the lightning the lightning comes the lightning goes the ripple you throw a pebble in the water the pothi says you throw a pebble there is a ripple then the ripple goes these little joys of life that we celebrate and live by are very temporary they come and go what is permanent is only your god your guru your sai that's the only only permanent sathi that we have in this life okay so make the best of having him 
I think just be reminded on this Guru Purnima, how blessed you are that Baba gave you this birth, how super blessed you are. You're a miracle child of Baba that he chose you as his own and don't waste his life. Don't do this. Don't look back with regret or remorse and say, what did I do? Don't look back any day and think it was a bad choice made. And if you're still feeling, oh God, I could have changed things. Trust me, you still can. Remember Rishi Valmiki and remember it is never too late. Even a sinner has the right and the blessing and the grace of his guru to be able to redo his entire life. You can do it too. It's never late. So on that note, the last thing I say, much in time, we're exactly on time, four minutes to go before I wind up. The quote that you all wanted me to, or the, the Doha that you wanted to hear from me. Um, Kaga, saptan khayo, chun chun khayo maas. Do nena mat khayo, mohe sai milan ki aas. I don't want to cry, sorry, but really, I want to tell the crow that come and peck at my body and take every bit of me away. I don't care. Take this flesh off my skin and skeleton. I don't care. But please leave my eyes behind because I'll always crave for him to come alive in, in front of these eyes. I'll crave to see my Baba one day alive and beautiful in the way we have always wanted to see him. So please crow, peck at my body, eat all of me up, but spare my eyes because I want to see my beloved, my Baba. I crave for his darshan. Kaga, sab tan khayo, chun chun khayo maas, do nena mat khayo, mohi sai milan ki maas, ya sai. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.